Hello everybody, welcome to the Cup Draw 4 CCL Season 51 Playoffs, the Chalice, whatever you want to call it. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Hello! Hello everybody and welcome to the Chalice Draw! <laughs> Here we are, 51 seasons. Jesus Christ Almighty, this could never end or what? Anyway... <laughs> Again, dozens of people have come together to fight for the title, a very difficult title to get. It's so difficult to win the challenge that every season only one person managed to do it. Mm. Yes, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at all the teams in, in, the, in the draw and uh, see what's going on. So first up we've got Looker Rats. Who could this be? Imagine being so fucking obsessed it's with more Rats dready. you're about to go on holiday. It's you, more ooh, ready. Fifteen three zero. Team, uh, do you just decide to play more fucking A very rats? small what team. The fuck? Why the fuck uh, would anyone play that much fucking I mean, rats? Jesus. Five Those are some very good uh, gather runners, but that's it. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be good with a wizard, isn't it? There's a yes. <laughs> there's a large five and large six sure runs. That's uh, that is very much wizard and win. Or don't yeah, it's like, and not win. It's bolt pick up with the IG six. Sure hands. Mm. Up against Perivale with Be Not Afraid of Elves. Who have 3186. Lots of games on these. A much better team. Um in terms of like you know players. Three guards. A couple of tackles, diving tackles, loads of sidestep. Really nice. Very, very, very uh, good. Also the leaper there for the ball hawk. Mr. Throw. The only named player is Mr. Throw. <laughs> Mr. Throw with <laughs> giving the leader role and having blocks. So it's all right. Also, but the price is more or less only, I think, a, a little more expensive than a lineman. So it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Mr. And throw is only 10k. 10k more. Two normals for the blitzers, which uh, I guess uh, they're gonna be uh, diving tackle. <laughs> tackle. Mm, yeah, probably, probably. So yeah, got some, got some. I mean, diving tackle doesn't do shit against the H six. <laughs> but yeah, in general, yeah, there's there's not much else to take, is there? Yeah. So yes. Yeah, Penny Valley, Penny Valley is in the chat, and yes, confirm the the diving tackle and tackle. Yeah. Yeah, so interesting. I mean, a super a super elf team versus an absolutely nothing bare bones skaven team, but it's still bare bones skaven. Match five and match six can win any match. Also, I've seen that you know the ball carrier has a diving tackle and sure hands. Mm. Don't forget that when you're carrying the ball, not to pre to press, not to dive in tackle. That would be <laughs> interesting way of losing the ball. That would be amazing. Right, Nurgle's Cream Eggs versus Weathers Morks. Okay, this is Old Grot. Never heard of him. 16-2-3. Very nice record with Nurgle. Uh, of course, could have done with Mord Games. Got a Claw Pummer. Couple of Guard. Lots of skills on Rodders. A very confusing uh, ball carrier. Because Sulo have, I think, instead of the tackle, maybe two heads was a better option. Mm. But it's the only tackle he has in the team. Yeah, and maybe he's not extra arms. Yeah, maybe not extra arms. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. I mean, not yeah, much to a, say about that. Not much to say because Alan is a weather more orc team, so. The tackle is uh, well uh, invested in the in mm. both teams. Yeah, Powerful yeah. Uh, black orc. Yeah, there's a lot of guard here, isn't it? A lot of oh. guard. Ah, he has 290 in the bank. That's why the team value is so high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, because I was thinking, but this team does, has, you know, very, very bare bones. This obviously, I can see some empty lines. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. probably means uh, at least a uh, one blitzer died. Yeah. Along the way, more it than is... a ball. Very Sorry. undercooked. It is undercooked, but it's 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 very TV efficient, right? Like he's got the minimum stuff that you need: block guard on everybody, 
and then a jump up tackle plumber and a ball carrier. So like it's it's very much like the minimum stuff. But um, I'd say that versus that the uh, Nalgal team, the Orcs with all the guard and the strength five and all that. It's a good match for them. I mean, it's gonna be come to the club Pomber versus the Pomber, you know? Yeah. Six, I mean, 16-40 team, very, very TV efficient. But um, yeah, obviously would be better with loads more skills. Right. M Meow Ham versus Elon's Twitter <laughs> meltdown. <laughs> Meow Ham, that sounds like a team of uh, terrific uh, injuries. <laughs> Very good. Oh god, that's disgusting. I'm just... <laughs> right. Oh my god. Um, do... <laughs> Come find me. Why did you say that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Twenty four six four. <laughs> oh god. I can't jump up club on blocker. You okay, James? You need a moment. <laughs> He's got thick skull on his own goblin. Oh my Holy God. shit. Because I respect that. I respect <laughs> that, you know, all the proper players of the team have thick skull. So he gives thick skull to the <laughs> home goblin with a strength four. I mean, Dodge would have been a much better, or guard, or even mighty blow. But, you know, you go with thick skull, you know, it's undercover <laughs> chop, just trying to. It's trying to become, you know, another uh, bull centaur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, uh, uh, Undercooked in it 15 20, like, but it, it's again, basis of a great team, right? Like, this claw bomb is amazing. If, like, if all these trolls had, like, two more skills, and the bulls had more skills, and this, like, had break tackle instead of stand firm, and this guy had taken anything except fucking thick skull, this would be, like, it's nearly a great team. Um, yes, I, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe Sadrian is not that uh, used to play uh, Chorps in uh, CCL. 18-2-2, mm -hmm. Kill Bill. Um, I assume this is still Kill Bill Waltz, right? And his, his alt. I assume this is Kill yes. Bill Waltz. Yes, must, um, must be. And, you know, at the beginning I was uh, watching the team, I was thinking, what's this human team? And now I see that it's a very decent uh, human team with lots of uh, mighty blow guard. The troll died. It's, it's very clear. The ogre died recently. That's. I mean, you can see the empty space on the. Mm. Yeah, maybe maybe he died. It's a pretty good team, though, isn't it? Two two pommers, one with tackle jump up, one edge yeah. four. And one catcher randomly called Brainworms is the only named player. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I, that's... I don't know what happened there, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. The, really nice and uh, Boro, uh, there are at least two human teams per season on the cup. Yeah. yeah because those are the, there's a really qualified three per race, I think, uh, or two and uh, three. So there's always a few human teams. Yeah. And humans have won the challenge before. Yeah, yeah, they're not terrible. And uh, I've, I've already forgot. Oh, they, those chores, yeah, that's a winnable game for them, for sure. Right. Move like a butterfly versus blessed be the bird. He's misspelled birds as Brett, but never mind. <laughs> Finishing a school is not a mandatory thing for a oh, coach. This is Gdynik. Gdain, and you recognise the name. This is Gdain. What a ridiculous team this is, eh? Look at, look at that. It's uh, absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, he has a uh, three, six, seven guard. Only six guard for the first game. AG five, movement nine, uh, war dancer. I mean, it's it's. it's... Yeah. Yeah, and if the guy was, if this guy was playing, it would be two four ninety. Yes. Fifteen players, like sixteen rostered. Um, it's it's and the most impressive way he has sixteen players on the team and only two <laughs> don't have any skills. And he's only in twenty one games. He's in twenty one games. games. <laughs> I mean, uh, obviously this probably means that Gdynik is going to lose in the first round. You know. Mm. Uh, 
but this is absolutely disgusting. The other team he had, the high elf thing, which was my favorite to him to pick up, got absolutely destroyed. Uh... But he had a strength five uh, catcher, so it was also a very good team. And the argument to pick that the high elf team after a few more games instead of this one is that the, he could unfurl on the high elves, you know, before mm. the end of the CCL. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you're taking the piss corn night, but yeah, the the record is nothing special, really, because it's Gadenic with Wood Elves. But, like, what's incredible is that, like, nobody died, right? Like, that's the crazy thing, nobody died. So he's got this unbelievable team after only 21 games. Um, yeah, un unbelievable. Um, versus Tacky on speed. He often, often takes in Burt, doesn't he? Yeah. 15 and six, I thought... two. I tell you, you missed the part. Uh, it was Coronet, the one that beat Gideini. Yes, yeah, I, I, I guessed that. <laughs> so probably it was some collusion there, you know, because it's so very weird. Mm. It would take collusion for me to lose to Coronet, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no offence, moving on. Um, yeah, edge four, uh, mighty blow tackler, strength four, couple of guards, three DPs. They might make a mark on their way out. <laughs> but um... uh, the only thing I can say about this team is that he has the same amount of players than Gdanik. Uh, uh, fifteen. So it's yeah. gonna be fifteen versus fifteen. Yeah. And having say <laughs> that, having say that. He needs to engage God mode because the Woodies are going to guard lock this team. It's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be embarrassing. It's going to be absolutely embarrassing. Maybe because they need that was one funny place, you know, something like that. Like uh, I don't know, uh, duck on the sideline, all the players so they can get sharp of all of them or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it's nearly a thousand. It's gonna be 800 TV difference. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely mental. It is indeed, yeah. And like, yeah, Kadenik's team becomes the bash team right with all the guard. But yeah, he could get like Morgan a wizard or something, um, and or Griffin a wiz. And I think maybe Morgan just try to batter him. But I mean, I don't see he hasn't got much chance. Right, he's got to completely dice him to have a chance. Right, a song of dice and I, that's a great name, isn't it? And give me equity, yes. that's pretty good. All right, there we go. Some pretty good names here. Oh, it's Thomas T. Hasn't called them um, useless or whatever he called. I can't remember what they call. He called them. Oh, because he's not that useless anymore. I was. <laughs> Should have called them sidesteppers. <laughs> I know. Song of song of Satan step. Song yeah. of Satan step. Yeah. Fifty one. <laughs> Hey, well, Thomas T, whatever you go, uh, really, that, that's my uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my suggestion. Is uh, you know free for you, you know the song of dice and step of uh, side and step. <laughs> um, so uh, yes, monkeys, you know, clearly coming with a uh, you know proper deep uh, knowledge and yes, is it, is that team getting his team is going to be first out or uh, final. Hmm. And here is the this team, hundred eighteen, hundred TV, loss of guard, uh, which help with uh, pylon, which is very good to see. Is sees niggle, but yes. at least we, I'm pretty sure we'll get to see the watch the animation of mm. the which help pylon, which is really really cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? There's this team with three guard, there's Perivale's team with two or three guard, and they just look pathetic after seeing Nick's team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, wow. But I this mean, is a real usually, nice team. Usually, Elf's team tends to have two or three guard because every double is going to be guard. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, compared with that uh, thing with monster monstrosity. Uh, not you, Tree, no, uh, you got some Don't worry. tacky on speed with Burt's. 22-14-4, so good at not losing with this team. Um, our Necro, strength strength 5, fleshy. Good fleshies, right, block guard. Very good fleshies, very, very good Tuckle fleshies. Palmer. Wolves, not a bad team uh, at all, TV efficient. No. 
Only one uh, goal is the, probably the the weakest spot. Clearly, some goals died uh, in the making of this team. Mm. And that's, uh, one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he has a uh, 70k. So depending on who is playing uh, versus, he could fight a zombie and get a goal, maybe. Yeah, I think I think he'll probably want the second goal for this the speed against the elves. But you know, he could he could he could he could tackle pom things. At least he's got the tackle pom. But yeah, really really missing that second, the second white. But um, real real nice fleshies and uh, yeah, Dauntless on the wolf. I'm not sure about, but hey. Not that, yeah, he's like. But hey, right, we've got big Fanjaw and slip. Versus typical Chov. Okay. <laughs> it is Fanjo with Fanjo in his name, surprisingly. Oh god, it's Norse. It looks pathetic. Seventeen three four. Um is this Well he has just mind this arm. Match four. Some guard. I block think jetty. that's it. Yeah, yeah. The block jetty that's very good. Block mighty block jetty. And I think this uh, kind of berserker is the one that pilots once per game. Mm. Because yeah. with armor six is. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Agi for uh, good liners. I mean, yeah. it's a. Uh... Eleven players, fourteen eighty. Yeah, it's yeah. a qualified North team. Yeah, 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 he qualified with Norse. Yep. Yep, congratulations for making the playoffs. <laughs> Up against Krippy with 2,000 team reach. I want to find everyone plays Norse in real life and just beat them um, to win an inch of their fucking life. This is pretty well, good because Chos would never ever lose to, to Norse. So. <laughs> I've never seen that. I've never seen that uh, scenario happen. And he has a very good... Uh, a twelve baseline, you mm. know, with all the skills uh, you want. A uh, claw bomber, claw mighty, just on time. Yeah. Guard all over the board. Yeah. I think enough to annihilate a uh, North team just with a mighty blow. Yeah, blood sure hands hobgoblin much better than thick skull to take. Yes, dodge. yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That dodge, you know. Uh, the, uh, break tackle on both uh, bulls. Yep. Yeah. It's just a typical chove team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Not quite, not quite cruise level, but uh, but very capable of winning, uh, winning chalice. Right, outrunning karma versus Zed Liz. Okay, this is this is interesting. All right, Zetok, Zetok the Danes, nineteen one three. Um, oh, there you go oh, with wow, that. no guard. <sighs> I'm not. I don't like this. Trific will hate this. I mean, uh, it's a very bare bones uh, team. Obviously, 1580. You know, there is no magic you can do. But not having any guard at all. Yeah. I think those uh, Saurus would break tackle. Maybe guard, you know, well, he has one guard in the crocs, but uh, one of the break tackles changes it for a uh, guard. Yeah. I mean, I'm... having tackle, break tackle, good, gives you the mobility just in case you need to, you know, uh, blitz a piece or something like that. But the other one, the mighty blow break tackle, wh why you want the break tackle in a mighty blow piece? Yeah, exactly. Punch things. Punch things. This could have been guard, this could have been guard, this could have been guard, and this could have been guard. He could have had four guards, so like for five total, but instead he's got one. So yeah, not what I would have done, but you know he's got a great record, and obviously he can bang people out with lizards just as well as anything else. So, uh, you know, might do okay. Wait, it's a, it's a lizard uh, mirror? Oh, it's a lizard mirror, he's up against Ducky. Alright, well, he, it might not work well for him then. <laughs> oh, well, five, well, 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 Ducky! Oh wow, Ducky went banger lizards! <laughs> but banger. he got to go. Very. Very good uh, team, yes. 20. Jesus, that's a lot of TV. You don't see, usually don't see the lizard teams this high. Yeah, that's a lot. 
and uh, Ducky versus Seto, a classic GFW fight here with, yeah. I have to say, I mean, uh, Ducky, Dodge, Break, Tackle, Saurus, those are uh, <laughs> good fellas there. Yeah. Yeah. An absolutely banger team, absolutely banger. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like, to, so to, it makes sense, I mean, kind of makes sense to go block Mighty Blow if your plan is playing them to 31, you know, to get guard on them as well, like use them to, you've got more chance of having, like people say, it's people hilariously say Mighty Blow to get guard quicker, which is obviously idiotic, but you're more likely to get to 31 SPPs if you go Mighty Blow before the guard, right? So like there is a reason to take the Mighty Blow before the guard and it is to get them to 31 with Mighty Blow on guard. Yes, and, so, and if you so want to optimize, yes, mm. and if you want to optimize uh, chances to get more SPP, by the time, you know, the the Lizards have so much, so much strength baseline that they can afford not having guard for longer than other teams. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, it's a Kraken um, with Seppuku Lords, 16-2-2, and uh, it's undead. He's got a strength of ghoul, oily nice. Um, guard on both ghouls. Guard on both mummies that aren't one and two for some reason. Disgusting. A block mummy. Add jump That's white. It. Move up white. Interesting. That's a uh, all right, but uh, yeah, I don't like the guard in the sure hands. In general, I don't like uh, guarding ball carrying pieces because you get temptations to use them where. You <laughs> I don't know. I think it, I think it's really good. I, I would I, I'd do it, but yeah, obviously I'd rather just have it on block. I would rather have, have rolled the guard before with your hands, but you can't turn down guard, can you? So yeah, it's 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 an all right team. Um, I don't know the name of Kraken. I don't know if it's an alt or a new new plate of chalice, but he's up against Noddy with dwarves rolling over. Oh, I wonder if he got some money from uh, Noalius. Twenty three. Yes, 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 Incredible. yes. Yes, and as I promised to Noalius, I'll make him a special mention for uh, this team because uh, you can see there is a death roller there with block. Mm. Well. Well, I was there when that uh, roll was made, and it was plus strength. He could oh, have gotten wow. a strength eight roller. Mm -hmm. Oh, epic is that, you know? Is that, the, oh my God, the guy of the team with this uh, roller, a strength eight roller. Three dice versus a strength four with just one assist. Mm. And you could get the block later, you know, or a strength nine, <laughs> strength nine uh, roller. Uh, but this no, is... he chose. He choose just going just this this way here, which is all right, I guess. It's pretty great, isn't it? I mean, incredible record. Twenty three one is is unbelievable. With any dwarf team, like you know that that amount of wins is really incredible with dwarves. Honestly, like you know, dwarves not losing is fine, but to get that that percentage of wins is really good. And then obviously, to do to do it with a death roll playing every game is pretty unbelievable. Yeah. No, no, it's a really good record. I saw more than a few games that he played versus. Very good coaches. I remember a game versus uh, Shublank. Mm. Shublank chose uh, schools in his block dice, uh, at least in one occasion during that game. Um, could be rage, could be the end of the game, could be relevant, or could be, you know, collusion. I don't know. Uh, Nolisius is after all an admin. Who I am to, you know, throw mm. accusations. I'm just stating facts. Good point. Good point, Fime. Yeah, probably some kind of admin, admin dice uh, slash collusion. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I guess uh I guess coming through the top half you've got a bet on uh you've got a bet on Gdanix Woody's here. And, yes. And coming through the bottom uh, we're he, I guess I guess yes. uh Nolly or Ducky, right? That that should be a big one in round two. I assume they'll both win their games. But there's also the well, chorps. Could throw a spell. also the chorps, it's also the chorp, so and the dwarves and uh, the lizards suffer versus the claw the chorp, so mm. Oh, it's gonna be oh, oh. Ducky's team is really really good, yes. Mm. But uh, it's a uh, lizard, you know. The problem is you get that uh, you lose to Saurus, and suddenly your team is much weaker. Yeah, very dicey lizards. Yeah, I, I, I would never bet on lizards winning the tournament because just because they've got to negotiate so many matches and they've got so many you know horrendous matchups uh, with this kind of TV. Right, on to page two. We've got Area 51 versus High Clang. Okay. That's 
Mad Jake with Woodies. Not Proils for once. 18 2 1. Exact same record as um, Gdanik. Gdanik, but 600 less TV. <laughs> I, I won that. I won that. Uh, it probably reminds me, uh, you know, feeling guilty of uh, this. Only reaching. Uh, it's going to be with the three skill subs. It's going to be 1850. Yeah. I hope he's rolled a guard and all these, otherwise he's got seven less guard than Gdanik. <laughs> Man, that, that, with all those uh, skill rolls, not getting a... Uh, and downless on the catcher, on the wrestle catcher. Yeah. Us. yeah, I guess I guess with him being like, you know, more of a Skaven and Proelf coach, he, he wanted to do that. But, you know, there's no real need when you've got dancers. Um, I'm not a fan of it, but fair enough. You know, it's not bad, is it? You know, it works for good. No, it's not bad. It's not bad, but uh, usually you're not going to blitz with a piece. Hmm. Yeah, when you've got dancers, yeah. <laughs> um, up against high climb. But, you know, great record. Obviously, knows how to play as well. Mad Jake. But... Ducky already shooting uh, bullets in the <laughs> chat, you know, implying that the, he has played much more uh, Charlie's than uh, Nolisius. 17-2 <laughs> on another great record here. Clack Clang. Um, a really nice catcher. Look at this move nine sprint sure feet. Um, or is it, yeah, that's sure feet, isn't it? Yeah, sprint sure feet. Yes. Uh, move nine, edge five. Really nice. A couple of blood steppers. Tackle mighty. Garda. Pretty nice. Pretty nice high off team. It's a decent uh, high off team, but as all high off teams, he needed more games. Hmm. Because, yes, this is like uh, he has three players worth of that uh, name right now with his 1670. Yes, yes. Which is how it works. I mean, that that catcher is really, really good, but he only has 11 players, you know? <laughs> Something mm. could happen to that catcher. <laughs> and the guard is armor seven, so yeah. Yeah. Oh no, my win rate in chalices, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for somebody who hasn't won it. Right. <laughs> uh, right, now we've got Snow snow Jupers. I thought it was going to be Jumpers. Snow Jupers versus AI Hearthstone. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> On, maybe it's A1 Hearthstone. No, it's A1 Hearthstone. Oh, not as funny Ooh. as it was AI. 1962, uh, it's Andre. Ooh, missing a bull off the first round. Bare Bones Bulls as well, both of them. Lovely blocker there. And not much else. Only one uh, stand firm. Well, 1610 uh, uh, Charles. Decent mm. ball carrier, moving seven, but yeah, missing one of the bulls is, is going to be rough. Missing a thick skull hobo as well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, thick skull hobo, you know, the start of the team. <sighs> Brilliant. Uh, up against Snow Jupers, which is, I'm sure it was meant to be Jumpers <laughs> because it's, it's, it's Kislev. <laughs> um, and 15-4-3, 14-10, it's Kislev, yeah. I mean, 15-4-3 is a good record. It's really a very good record. Good record. It? It's a really good red record. So congratulations in managing this uh, record with uh, Kiss Left. No easy task. Yeah. Many yeah. good many good Kiss Left died in the making <laughs> of that record. Yeah. Uh, no catches. Yeah, it's not normal. No, it's abnormal to not have catches. But loads of wrestle. And, uh, I guess in here, depending against who he plays, he'll decide to buy at least a catcher. Yeah. I mean, those empty lines between the, you know, <laughs> imply that something happened in the last game. Yeah, I don't think it matters what he buys, to be fair, he's probably going to get wrecked by the choice, but never mind. Right, Elf Coach versus Scatbacks. Who will be this Elf Coach? There are so many Elf Coaches. It's Kinroth, with Orcs. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought he was going to be PC with Dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> you would have, anybody with dwarves you would have thought, wouldn't you, really? 2699 and uh, yep, strength up black oak, nice. Loads of block guard, mighty. Yeah, all of them with block guard, mighty. 
Oh, well, these are blo- mighty at least. Well, at least mighty. Couple of tackle, couple of palms, guards. Really nice team. Monster, monster orcs. Nine uh, guards, mighty blow all over the place. Tackle all over the place. A strong arm uh, thrower instead of a uh, dodge. You know, just because it's a strong team. Fuck's sake, mm. get a strong arm. Oh, yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? Could have been one more guard. Yikes. Or just not being a thrower. Could have been not being a thrower and 71 I mean, more SPP on blitzers, right? Like, that's the thing. That's yes, the thing. I mean, accurate, accurate uh, strong arm makes him a very good uh, thrower and he has an agi for a piece to catch the ball. No. So, okay. I mean, as a thrower, as a person that throws the ball, having no. accurate strong arm is good. No. Because it makes it easier. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Jim, it's pure math. If you have accurate and a strong arm, rolling the dice to pass is easier than if you don't. Yeah, but it's still terrible. <laughs> 27-6. Chet Sweezy with, uh, with uh, Underworld. Underwhelm, as PC likes to call it. And of course, as always, they are underwhelming. Um, Claw Pommer, Claw Mighty. Maybe it's another Claw Pom. Um, yeah. A uh, classic uh, underworld team. Yeah. You know, I mean, well done it, for making playoffs. Yes, that lineman that uh, has uh, sure hands, you know, having three sure hands in the team, some people will say that it's a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. But it's his best player, Barry Sanders, for some reason, Larry Sanders. I don't know why he renamed them all, but there you go. Right, <laughs> and uh, then we've got PI versus exclamation points. Brilliant. <laughs> what a fantastic. Uh... And how many PI do you have in the tournament? Three. Oh, it's like peace and love, right? That's that's what it is. Okay, Mongloom, 1653. Uh, it's a team. Well, it's classic uh, Camry team. Hmm. I mean, uh, one, two, three, five guard. Not bad considering that the two of the Tomb Guardians are new. Uh, 60 hood TV, I think this is a pretty shit team, to be honest. But, you know, good record, well done for qualifying. <laughs> yes, it's, it's going to have a rough time in it, Charlie's. Yep. And, okay, that doesn't search for the team, so I've got to manually find this stupidly named exclamation point question mark team oh then uh, wait until uh, the other teams missa 17.52 unbelievable record with uh, chaos oh and severely undercooked wow 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 you thought the Camry were undercooked imagine having a chaos team that looks like this jesus what happened in the last uh, two games for this team i don't know jesus because, I mean, it's a very good, it's a very, it's a, it's a good record, so probably maybe the two losses came in the last uh, few games, you know, where he took all those uh, injuries. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Wow, well, great record. Well done for qualifying for Chalice. That's going to be a, an interesting battle between two absolutely crap teams. Belly with the Forlorn versus Offstream Elves. Offstream Elves is surely misspelled tree. Yes, it's misspelled tree with his uh, probably collusion team. Up against Runbad with High Elves. Four. Oh, Battle seven. of the Streamers here. <laughs> there we go. Um, yep. That looks like a high elf team. <laughs> yes, yes, a very good uh, catcher with a, an armor value problem, but uh, you can't fight a catcher uh, that has all those skills at that level. You're like, yeah. no, yeah. you keep it until it explodes, which is going to be probably soon, but <laughs> same with the guard uh, blitzer. I mean, blood step guard, you just keep that piece. Yeah. This is this is pretty much a typical high L team. No one's really, no players really finished. There's multiple injuries. Somebody's missed next. <laughs> it's like... Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's the classic. I, if I had more time, you know. Yeah, so I, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Leveling a higher team is so hard, man. It really is. Yeah, 
Yep. There was only there was only really one high elf team I thought that was going to win Chalice, but uh, you know, never lucky. <laughs> I misspelled tree twenty four seven six. Not a great record. Not as not what you'd expect. But oh, a lovely, oh a god. lovely move. Oh my move god! Okay, action. admins, admins, have a look at the at the games of this uh, woman. For God's sake! <laughs> Plus edge, minus edge on the catcher was even better. The team was thirteen four six. Jeepers! Uh, but yeah, and a strength five dancer. An arch five dance this mix next. Wow, there's some real good players on that team, eh? There is, there is, there is. And I'm playing that amount of games without the streaming the team. What the hell are you doing with your uh, time uh, tree? You're streaming during the day yeah. and playing off stream teams uh, by the night. Jesus, you're an addict here. Look for help. <laughs> Look for help. <laughs> Look for help. <laughs> Look for help. <laughs> You know, join over in these uh, paddleboard uh, groups for uh, or whatever. <laughs> please, please get help. <laughs> get out. Out some grass. <laughs> oh, lead, lead with Camry seventeen nine three. Uh, this looks more like a Camry team, doesn't it? You know, some skills on the yes. turnies, loads of skills on the throw rars and blitz rars. And uh, Tomb Guardians, obviously, with. <laughs> you niggling or equivalent <laughs> things <laughs> because that's the magic of Tomb Guardians. God, I hate, I hate, I hate the decay. decay on the Tomb Guardians is uh, so stupid, it's so pointless. Yeah, 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 I really, I hate, I hate decay. Um, right, versus cheesy rats. I would say it's this Chunter, but it's it's not, is it? He never calls them cheesy rats. Who could it be? It's a Skaven coach that isn't Chunter. It's Rab Rab. There you go. And he's got a Pommer and a move 10. Sprint your feet. Classic. All that a uh, Skaven team needs. More than enough players to protect the... One turner and a piece of juggernaut. I, I like that juggernaut. The uh, bomber. Yeah. Yep. Good enough. Good enough to win Chalice. But um, you know, the Kemri can certainly remove enough plays in the first half that, that he's got to field the one turner for the second half, and, and you know might be able to get his hands on him. But um, it's going to be tough for Lee just because Skaven are stupid. Can you see the chain? Who uh, will uh, Necromanly? <laughs> These are two pretty great team names. I'm already, I'm already invested in this. It's Mankiz, the Mankiz Meat Throttle. <laughs> Can you shoot off the chain, guys? He has done some lovely chains, hasn't he, uh, Mankiz? Got a really yes. nice blitzer there. It's really nice. And another edge up. Um, some bludge step. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, there is a, a decent uh, Dark Elves team. Nothing, uh, you know, that you could say, oh my god, this is incredible. I mean, uh, well, there's a very good ball carrier and a very good blitzer. Mm. But, uh, I mean, the oh, two leaper species, you know, the, the guard leaps in and then the witch leaps for the block. Yeah. It's a good play. But yeah. Yeah. And he has two diving tackles, yes, which is a very common uh, skill for uh, Dark Elf uh, Blitzers. Yeah. Because they run, out, they run out of skills. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That's, that's the big weakness of Proyles. Like, although they start amazing, they just run out of skills like instantly, Proyle Blitzers, don't they? Julian, 1732, very nice. And uh, really nice wolf, a uh, shit wolf. Um, Bit basic fleshies, which is just what you need. Basic whites, which is all you need. A ball carrier. Not bad at all. Not, Not bad, at, bad all. at all. More than enough to reach far in the chalice. If he's lucky with the wolves. Yeah. Yeah. All movie stars, aren't they? Oh, all. No, no, all manly. Manly mm. movie stars. Very mm. manly. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Well, Chris Evans is a ginger TV presenter. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've got oh my god, a completely incomprehensible name. 
versus languages. Okay. Very interesting that the team with the weird uh, characters of the another language is uh, playing versus a team of languages. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, Twenty-one two five. Not terrible. Diamed. Everyone knows Diamed. A um, couple of mummies, both block. Ghouls. Ange, guard. Strength. Pommer, white. Strength up white. Could be a chalice winner. This is about as exciting as Undead Get, isn't it? Yes, yes. This is the you know top uh, and the, the development. You can ask for much more. You know, you have a uh, Art, block mummies. This is it. Mm. Only in the coding languages, yeah, rather than actual languages, of course. Of course, being being nerds, of course it wouldn't it wouldn't be referring to actual languages. <laughs> Where is his opponent? It's this team. It's Vlad GR sixteen two two rats and a natty and, and a juggernaut and not much else. We're seeing a theme with the Skaven here. <laughs> it seems that the Skaven have had a rough time this uh, season, and yes, only three gutters. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, probably the other one is completely <laughs> dead and he, could, and he only has 40k so he can uh, buy uh, another one uh, 40k it. like the series that the Henry Cavill is going to make to bring back faith to the fans oh god how exciting is that I can't wait it's, it's going to be years before anything happens so yeah <laughs> I can't wait. I still can't wait though. Four Henry Cavill, forty k. Four, <laughs> right? Beautiful and dangerous that a Henry Cavill theme team versus Cold Steel at night. <laughs> like like Henry Cavill. <laughs> oh, the Amazons, of course, they are eighteen six two. Um, some guards, some mighty blow. Won't win that's Chalice because they're that's a, it's nice that's team. a really good, a really good team development for the amount of games. I mean, nothing compared with you know the, the other uh, things we have seen, but for a uh, Sons game, it's really good. Yeah. I mean, it has one missing uh, next game, and that's a really good piece. He has a uh, very good uh, Linus. I don't know why one of them has extra AV as first pick. Hmm. Yeah, well, why not? If you're not going to give him movement, then fair enough. But yeah, I hate the throwers, honestly. I hate the throwers. And then uh, the catches both getting guard was good. But um, yeah, not, not not the worst. Not the worst um, Wood Elf team. Not Wood Elf. Not, <laughs> they're definitely the worst Wood Elf team I've seen. Not the worst. Not the worst Amazon team I've ever seen. <laughs> hello there, Dr. Book Use. Uh, hello. Up against Tempest Soul. 2244, the, the, the runner up in the last chalice. Yes, with, that's uh, the mistake. He called his, in the last chalice, he called his team, you know, final boss and mm. reaches the final. But as every single final boss lose, he should have named his team Chalice Winner 50. Of course, yeah, final boss was silly. Yes, Voro, yeah, this will be on, this will be on YouTube, yeah. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, Edge 6 is really good, isn't it? Edge 6 is really good, but again, loads of injuries. Well, everyone is so banged up this chalice, it's crazy. Um, this Boro, is I can, I can see that you haven't seen many uh, chalice uh, teams before, <laughs> but teams are right, reaching with 9, 8, 7 players. <laughs> <laughs> it's very common. Yep. Right, here we go. Jaeger Ponds. Let's have a look at the Jaeger Ponds. It's Malala Noose and... It's a very bare bones chove team. It's 80 less than this, so it's actually 1620. Um, 1620. There is not even uh, any pumps at all. This is team is absolutely light. Yep. Yep. Bleh. So uh, this is a. Uh, well, uh, what's the record of this team? 25 3. 25 3. Uh, probably another collusion team. Hey! <laughs> Banter! <laughs> <laughs> 
He's taken on, of course, the mighty Rick Reckless, who was top of the ladder at some point. I don't know if he finished top of the ladder, but 26-5-3. Uh, Rick with this movement player, who, who's got sprint and another movement. So there you go. I, that's, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Got the one-turner. He probably, in a perfect world, would have carried on playing until this guy got to legend. Uh, Zakara, he got to at 76, which is good. That was the limit for, like, he had to get him to, right? Like, strength yes. 4, 5. Strength 4, 5. I thought, but, um, you know, if this isn't tackle, he should have gotten to 176. But, you know, you know, Ricky, like, he likes to play a few, a bunch of teams, doesn't uh, so he? So, the, the, the universe in which a pro play, player reaches 176 SPP. I, I don't think that uh, you're going to see much of that in uh, Chalice. <laughs> not going to see much of it, but I mean, Rick could, right? Like, Rick yes. doesn't play optimally for Chalice. Like, he likes to play loads of different teams and sit on them and, and you know, get a lot of variety for the stream, which is nice, isn't it? But um, if he had if he had focused on this team, he definitely could have made one or both of these guys legends, which would have significantly increased his chances. Like, you know, if this is a sure feat, it's really good, isn't it? And uh, But, I mean, at least he's got sprint, you know? Like, this had to get to 76. Um, yes, yes, he, he had to. He had to uh, reach, uh, you know, uh, the people to become a very good uh, one turner. Yes, that's, that's. And the mighty blow Lino is clearly uh, gonna be blocked. Mighty blow, probably, probably, and it's because he needs something to do something because the rest of the team. I mean, you have the catcher with the strength for uh, IG five. To yeah, carry the ball yeah. under uh, normal circumstances, but the rest of the team is very, very bold. Yeah. He lost a lot of players. He lost a lot of players. I remember seeing this team as a much more icons around. Yes, yeah, yeah. They were a lot bigger. Yeah, they've, they've fallen off. But he's still got the two superstars. So, um, yeah, I hate the mighty blow line. Yeah, I hate that. Right, nine inch heels versus, oh God, something. Mirror. And this is not a thick school line, though, because being a, uh, you know, Rick, uh, yes. I'm surprised. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's ours away now. Oh, well, there you go. Um, there you go. Lunch for Brunner. Oh, really nice. And. Only 15. Yes, only 1580. one. Very good record. Yeah. Very TV efficient, extremely TV efficient, I have to say. Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, versus nine, nine something, nine inch heels, which is somebody who we can't say his name. <laughs> Thirty-two ten six, and uh, he's got. Oh my God! You let me violate you. You let me penetrate. You. Okay, uh, I want to do so. I'll turn my apartment inside, it's closer to God. Those are, uh, I think, uh, some names from yes. uh, Nine Inch Nails, I think, or another uh, Kubelet band. Yes, yeah. <laughs> very risky, the first uh, song name, very risky, you know, of all the albums they have, you know. Yeah. You know, that you could have used the name of the song from. Uh, that uh, uh, oh, what was the name of the singer that made that cover that everybody now uh, uh, Jesus Heart yes you could yeah. have used Heart you know oh yeah Heart but that one but yeah, anyway lines, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah lines. I, wanna f I remember I want to fuck you like an animal anyway right <laughs> uh, there's a couple of guards it's a pretty nice team isn't it blood step move up move up Blood step, pretty, guard, pretty nice. Pretty team. Guard, yes, very good. Uh, a blitzer like that is like a witch elf, mm. and mm. a witch elf that is like a blitzer. <laughs> yeah, because that's side step. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the second skill in uh, which is side step is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe tackle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, mm, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like. I like. I like that team. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, but obviously he's going to probably get wrecked by the dwarves, but never mind. Um, are you on page three here? Yeah. Yeah, we're on page three. God, right. No Dwarf November versus Red Dice Go Faster. That's surely Orcs, isn't it? Must be Orcs. I mean, if it's not Orcs. And, but they're probably up against it against Singolo's Nurgle if they are Orcs. 26-5-5. Nice record. The champ, of course, Singolo. Um, didn't really get to claw on his warriors, but he got a claw pommer, Pestigo, so 
Good. And again, another uh, single or team without the uh, blitzers. Without <laughs> yeah. dwarf blitzers. Following his tradition of not playing uh, with dwarf blitzers in any team. Not even dwarves. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Very good uh, team. Only one tackle could be the problem in the long term. Yeah. yeah but nice yes, it's, it's a struggle. They struggle so much to get the tackle. Yeah. All right. All right. It is Orcs. Yeah. Dr. Bugius. 27-4. Good record. But, oh, a light team. Two really nice blitzers with the strength ups. But just needed way more games on this team, right? Like those two players could make an incredible team. Those um, two players needed to reach at least uh, 31 and 51, uh, respectively. Yeah, and just needed a team know. around them, right? They'd need if yes. they had a team around them, that would be a monster. Very monster good, team. very good ball carrier, a blitzer with blotch, stand firm, uh, sure hands. Very good. Mm. I like uh, that. And the rest of the team is, yes, he needed, yes, a bit, so close to 76. Yeah, yeah. One is. line of, is, is so many players so close to, you know, greatness, but I guess how the races uh, go, how the qualification system goes, you know, sometimes you just have to stop. Yeah. Because if you have a bad game, you are out. Yeah, and you know, not everyone's got the time to play millions of games exactly. and stuff like this, so... Just uh, nobody, no, nobody is like Miss Pell Tree, you know, being able to play uh, on stream and off stream. Yeah. <laughs> Get some help. Get some help. <laughs> picky, picky. Gabby, is it Gabby Yas, right? It's Gabby Yas, surely. 1981. Um, yep. Dwarves. Well, Dwarves, uh, very good Blitzer, very good to Blitzer, but the strength for uh, really good. Yeah. Uh, Dodge uh, Runner, yeah. and a Troll Slayer. <laughs> dwarf team. With all the skills, yes, it's a Dwarf team, I mean, <laughs> there is no spectacular player here, no, you know, so yes, it's like a team that, you know, very good. Good chances to reach far in the tallies. Hmm. Maybe not though if he's up against Orcs in the first round because they're just like bigger dwarves. Except these aren't really bigger. Twenty zero five, nice record. But again, again, they're just a light team. These are these Orc teams because probably what happens is the light Orc teams have got nice records and then they carry on playing and they get fucked by claw teams. <laughs> you know. I mean, there is a very powerful Orc team. You know the the yeah, there's one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe that was the wag master and you know didn't let the other orcs play. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, this is it's not the best orc team you've seen in your life, is it? But um you know, at least you made Chalice got a good record. And that's the thing, like you know, not everyone as I say, it's like not everybody wants to play all the games to make it a good team, do they? Uh, dirty gold or, or versus major building. Major building's Elliot, isn't it? I think it is. Up versus Silly Billy Belly with Vampires 16-1-4. It's actually like a pretty good record with, with uh, very vampires. good record for vampires, but it's an absolutely bare bones vampire team. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing you can say of this team is they have a five hypnotic gaze. Yeah, yeah, they got they got a dodge. It's not it's not a terrible team by any means. Um and obviously good record, so yeah, well well played by him. And Elliot's team looks wrecked now, it looked brilliant at one point, twenty six eight two. Great record. Strength up and chop. But um looks Congratulations for qualifying a Dark Elf team with an assassin. That's a <laughs> I, I think it's more or less like an Alius challenge but without getting any reward. You know, only the suffering. <laughs> Was trying to do it. <laughs> no, but yeah. Bloch, uh, Assassin, a strength for uh, Blitzer. Very good Witch Elf. And uh, not much more. Not much more. That line, see that line, we wrestle uh, Dodge sidestep. I was thinking the other day that you know, instead of sidestep, people should start using 
getting jump up to the grass uh, liners with dodge because it's so annoying if they have jump up. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. You know, side step is good, but jump up is like, oh, you mm -hmm. wrestle them, and next mm -hmm. time they get up and run. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Broken Owls versus the Cheap Dates. Okay. Nunes with Woodies. It's 16-9-0, no losses at all. Very, very nice. Really nice. Move nine catcher, not a lot else. Very bare bones, very bare bones. Only 11 players. 1500 TV. I mean, obviously something uh, happened to this team because they only has one war dancer. No, mm -hmm. he has two, but one of them is only seven SPP. Yeah, yeah, obviously the dancer died. Yeah. And how many catchers uh, does he have? Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, guess, I guess a few catches go. He didn't go to the Gdynik school of not having any of your players die. <laughs> yes, exactly. A terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, up against Cornite with Amazons. Oh, yes, of course it is. 1964. Uh... So, are you telling me this is the team that beat Gdynik's uh, Wood Elves? Surely not. Surely he had like a dwarf team or something that beat Gdynix. Uh, Let's check else? the history of this team. No Should way, easy no fight. way did this beat. No way did this team beat Gdynix team. No keep way. going, Jimmy. Keep going. I think I have a feeling here. No way. Do, do you remember the. No, it's not. Is it? No. No, no, no. No. Okay, okay. Beating with pros, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. Oh, monkeys. Monkeys say this team made your chores. Oof, monkeys, that's some of the things you should keep them private, you know? Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> wow, imagine volunteering that information. <laughs> yes, give me that information on this chat, monkeys. Are you new? Are you new? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a decent... Uh, Amazon team, but yeah. nothing yeah. again, nothing spectacular, nothing that you say, oh my god, this uh, player, you know? The, yeah, it will never be win my Chalice. favorite player of the tournament. It will never win Chalice, that's for sure. Uh, another unpronounceable name, because I'm ignorant, versus uh, <laughs> that 5 or 4 war, probably. Right. God, I can't even spell 5 or 4. <laughs> oh, it's Yuri. Yuri, 1446 with goblins, pretty good. And a uh, bunch of sidestep and edge up. Thick skull troll. Thick skull troll, okay. Mm. Uh, I'm missing one of the trolls. So he's going to play, you know, CCL hard mode, even the hardest mode, you know, like uh, Iron Man uh, level. Mm. Like Battle Brothers at the, you know, hardest uh, difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Because that's a bare bones uh, goblin team. It really is, yeah. But of course, another, another great record and well done for getting in. Um, probably going to go out in the first round. Uh, it's probably God Wars Humans, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it's God Wars Humans used up against, which is really bad for goblins. 19-4-3. God Wars pretty good at the Blood Balls. And humans are a pretty good counter for stunties, right? Because they've got—they generally have a lot of tackle. He actually doesn't have a lot of tackle. He's is the same as last season. He's coming with like a completely undercooked team. But generally, uh, humans have more tackle. So this is actually okay. Shit and I like know with armor nine instead of you know just going with block. Every new meta, I keep telling everybody. Ah uh, yes. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, all right. I guess. Uh, <laughs> But he has a lot of block, which is usually more than enough to kill the goblins. Yeah. But God, this team could have. This team again could have been so good, right? He's two away from 31. Could have skilled this guy out to be like a near natty. Could have got mighty blow on guard on all of the uh, all the blitzers, tackle them all. Like he could have had the so ogre much maybe could have team. got block. The ogre could have got block or a stand firm. Yeah. Mm. But it should be more than enough to beat goblins. But you know, Yudi's great, so. Could well do well. I just realised we didn't do who who would win out of each of these, and I've already forgotten the teams. Um, yeah. uh, 
I've already forgotten all of these teams. We should have done it at the time. Right, <laughs> these teams. Um, ah, Rick's, Rick's Pro Elves. Rick's Pro Elves are the people champion. Yeah. So I'll go with that. And I'll go with the goblins in the bottom one because <laughs> you only live once. You know, just Jolo yeah. Chalice. Yeah. All right, goblins. There we go. And then, uh, right, we're on the final page. We've got Magic Mushrooms versus... Oh, no, they were, tell you what, there was Undead. They were the Undead team, whoever the Undead teams were. Oh, I yes, yes, like the yes. Quite like the, the Undead. undead uh... Was that Nine Inch Shields? No, that wasn't. Uh, who was the Undead? Jaeger Pums? No. No, that was a Charles team. Uh, Call is still at night, I think it was the uh. Undead team. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just go back and... Uh... Yeah. yeah. And find it yourself. My prediction, man, is his second page doesn't matter because they lose to they lose to Gadenix team. <laughs> right, Magic Mushrooms versus Undead Who Dis. Magic Mike. They're making a new Magic Mike movie. I haven't I haven't seen any of the Magic Mike movies. I have, I have no. I, I I don't handle that kind of information. I don't have those uh, interests. But I would be surprised if they didn't do like seven more of them. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to watch it with PC. <laughs> Because I was going to say they have a very specific target audience, you know, but there you go, you know, uh, team and PC. <laughs> we go talk, talk, talk. It's like Avatar, but with more oil. Uh, pretty nice catcher there, isn't it? <laughs> very nice catcher, very uh, decent human team. Yeah, they, Again, they, they, maybe they, maybe a few more skill. I mean, he's missing uh, one of the blitzers, uh, but the, that ogre is really really good. Mm -hmm. uh, stand firm uh, ogre, very yeah. very good. Maybe instead of a stand firm, I'll go with guard. Yeah. Basically, because he doesn't have much more guard on the team. Yeah, yeah. It's more I look at it, the worse it gets. But you know, well done for qualifying. Okay, not not shitting on any of the coaches here. It's just the teams, isn't it? You know, in in many ways, shitting on the teams is being even nicer the coaches because it means they've done better to qualify with the teams, isn't it? And also, yes. the teams are fine for ladder TV matching, right? That the, the, they're not fine for winning chalice. Like this team, if you're spinning into this team at fourteen sixty, you're like, holy fuck! <laughs> I, yes, I am it. getting that's, shit this on. Is a, like, this this is absolutely is absolutely nightmare. You know. This is the, the, this is the ladder nightmares teams that you watch. Oh, 1460, can't be that bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But, but for Chalice, for, it, it for Chalice, win Chalice, the cap, yes, the cap, you need that extra oomph, you need that extra power, you know, if you want to win it, you know, like you have the determination, I want to win Chalice, you know, no matter what, mm. you obviously need a very high TV team for starters. Yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a hell of a team, to be fair. The, the, the guards there, everything, everything's min max, but yeah, it's almost certainly too too low TV to uh, to do too well. Uh, Pumpkin Palooza versus El Truffle Tazo. Okay. <laughs> right. Pump Onan Onan's in it, the world champion. Eighteen seven one, a really nice record with Burt's. A really shit Burt team though. <laughs> <laughs> this players. season, this season must have been brutal. <laughs> I mean, how many people have Gedenic Elves killed? <laughs> My God, I mean, yes, usually we see, you know, banged up teams or something like that, but this one is like 1070. Yeah. I mean, this man got the ticket by surprise. He was just having a pint at the pub, and suddenly, oh, I got a message from the CCL Discord. Was this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like, uh, this is like a whole. Uh, it's like we should call this the Circle Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got a circle team. Rata Campera, twenty-one seven seven. There you go. Pretty good. He's going to be an interesting game, basically because the breaths are 1070. <laughs> I mean, that's an AG4 thrower. That's... Yeah, that's pretty that's, good, isn't it? That's, that makes the team, you know, able to reach very far in Chalice and a strength for Blitzra. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker. I fucking hate Forrest Whitaker. I don't know why, it's just like kind of irrational hatred I have for him. 
It was, it was just a stupid face. <laughs> oh, is, is the guy with the... Yeah, the guy with the eye. Yeah, the guy with the eye, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what they, you know, made easy to recognize him. In, you know, they, uh, <laughs> they, they, they has the injury in the one of his eyes, or, he's like, or whatever it is. Uh, whatever and see like that, yes. The guy with the eye. No, obviously, probably, I don't probably many, the human probably either. many Hollywood producers use this term instead of the, that the, the third black guy in Hollywood. <laughs> the guy with the eye. <laughs> but anyway. Um... There you go. Oh, good weather mode. Good. <laughs> Fuck that guy then. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's very tall, six feet two. Mm. He can't kick your ass, Jim. He can't kick your ass. Not anymore, he's old as fuck. <laughs> 61 years. Yeah. Where is my brain versus Hewler's on? Okay. No, I'd kick his ass, he... man. He's old. And I don't actually I... hate him, I just said it didn't. Yeah, and his sons, his children are called Ocean Whitaker, True Whitaker, Autumn Whitaker, and Sonnet Noel Whitaker. I see a theme here. Mm. Ocean, why you call one of the kids Ocean? Well, true, <laughs> True Whitaker. You know, like okay, when, when it comes to the last will, that's, that kid has advantage. <laughs> oh my God, twenty-two five two, great team, right? Great record, twenty-two five two with chaos. Wow, wow, but um, boy howdy is this like a shit chaos team. I guess he just got the claw pommer, but no tackle on it. And again, like it's shit for challenge. It's also it's high TV, and it's just like, you know, the, if you take this twenty TV from this guy and stick it on this guy, the team's way better, right? And then if you take yes. if you take the twenty of this guy and put it on here, this guy it's way better. So like just it's just unfortunately it's got the it, and it's oh my god extra arms. But people just stop taking extra arms, please. <laughs> Guys, if it's a ball carry and already has uh, sure hands, two heads has a much better value. Um, up against Seabrawls, 22.75. Um, he's, and his team name is definitely correct. <laughs> but seven well, guards, so well, there's some gang with them. <laughs> Timmy's, Mrs. Hooks, spelling mistakes, suck. Cowl <laughs> 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 and G, you know. Uh, mm. Very Legend. good. Yeah, but, uh, yeah it's, it's not going to win Chalice with it. But, you know, you might you might get through the first round. You might do better than me last season. Um, right. Betrayed Desires versus PDM. Okay. Rats. Is there no chunter in this? I've just realised. We've seen a lot of rat teams and no chunter. 1975. A miss next Pommer. An Ad 6. Oh, a Natty. What a surprise. Oh, how bizarre. I haven't seen, I haven't seen three of those three. this season. It's absolutely disgusting who a team with a team value of 1360 <laughs> has such a great gutter runner, a one turner, and a fantastic uh, blitzer rat. Mm. A strength four when he blitzes, that the gutter runner, for God's sake. Yeah. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Flip me. Um... Yes, it seems, seems that, uh, you know, the gutter runners were on a limited edition this uh, season, and you only could have uh, three of them on your team, tops. Yeah. Level 18 coach, so it could be an old, but I guess 1975 isn't that good a record, right? And got a natty, so. Um, or uh, qualifying with rats is not so something has happened in the rat uh, race yeah the rat race <laughs> hey. the rat race has been particularly horrible <laughs> yeah that's really weird isn't it um, PDM must be this one Volaphone Balint 18.33 really nice oh god he's got a bizarre ordering he's got a skinks first what a scumbag uh, loads of size, loads of SPP, and loads of like TV on the skinks, which isn't great, is it? But he's got some guards. But um, well, I hate this team. I hate this team. I think this team has absolutely nothing on uh, on it. I don't know whether it's a uh, oh, well catch a skink. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, second skill. Sorry, third skill. Uh, so you have to pick something, I guess. 
had to take the diamond tackle though. Probably Just yes, but uh, I think the play is to be able to make a quick pass or short pass with the AG4 skin yeah. to the catch skin to be able to score a very quick uh, two turners or even a uh, one turners. But the Saurus are lacking. Yeah, is all I can say about that. The Liz Trustees versus Dwarves have tiny peepees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dwarves have tiny peepees is Agralius in his underworld. Um, 16 2 3. And two full claw pommers, one with tackle. A claw troll, very low TV, isn't it? 15 30. Very That's good uh, scabbing thrower, which is obviously the ball carrier. Yeah. I'll say. Oh. Goblin with a dirty player, uh, Sneaky Kid. I give him himself a sneaky get two heads. You know, and that's the two. second. That's I mean, okay, the first one was Nick, was Rick, wasn't it? But DP sneaky get is trash. I guess to be fair, if you're goblins, you like us not. But he's got mutations, right? He could just take a foul appearance or something. Sneaky get is fucking terrible. This is not. This is not. Blood Bowl three. <laughs> sneaky and, get uh, is shit. <laughs> yes, and then the wall uh, one with uh, two heads. The goblin with two heads and wrestle. Very good. Extremely annoying piece. Yeah, yeah. And he's up against Devo with these lizards. Eighteen zero three. No, Dio wins for uh, Devo on this team. You know, following mm. the Donician rule of draws, that if he draws, it's a win, and if he draws a win, he takes the win part, and you take the loss part. <laughs> yeah, fifty percent. You know, draws are fifty percent win, fifty percent loss. So you know, Dio takes the win, and you take the loss. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do you see him throw a bit on? Yeah, yeah, probably because for, for underworld, like strength four, if you, if, you know, un, first of all, a scaven throw is pretty good for underworld because he's not a goblin, and then you add strength up to that. You can any player is pretty good with strength up, and I know you know, yeah. but the people watching at home may not know, so you know, they, we can't all be we can't all be qualifying CCL yes. playoff coaches, 1900 pro teams, veterans of the game. You know, some people watching this will be newer. And, people uh, are watching this at home, not like the people are watching this in Gwembley right now live. Exactly, exactly. The millions in attendance. <laughs> the thousands in attendance when the millions watching at home. <laughs> anyway, this is a very banger team, isn't it? Very little guard. It's got no hope in hell of doing I anything. I think this team uh, got uh, seriously injured at some point and he had to rebuild it. I think mm. but because for being Andy, Andy to take this team with 13, uh, 30 TV is not his kind of a style of play. No, no, this is... This he is likes to take, a, you know, a proper uh, challenge winners. Yes, twice that TV is more usual for, yes. for a Devo team. Yes. Right. Necros versus another big team. Okay. Another big team. This one, isn't it? Harpic. Oh, it's it's flings. Thirteen six two. Incredible record. Add up. Um, yep. I mean, it's a halfling team. There's never much. It's a halfling team. There is there thing. is never gonna be, you know, something that they're like, oh yeah, okay. Well, congratulations for uh, qualifying with uh, halflings. <laughs> that involves you play a lot of time with halflings, which obviously you must enjoy to do it because. That's the only choice to play Halflings and you are having fun with them. <laughs> like other teams, you play them because they are so good that you want to play them to qualify. <laughs> yes. You can imagine how boring it would be Gedanic playing with those elves after the last games, you know. Just everything works, every scoring, you know, five thousands per game, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> how much has that man suffered? <laughs> yeah. 2155, five. he's up against Contagious E, so this is a buy for Contagious E. Uh, really lovely game for him. He can get oh seven SPP on this wolf, he can get five SPP on this white, he can get four SPP on this white. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Even he has the claw, he has the claw to kill the trees. He's, 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 oh my, and a strength five uh, golem. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a very good uh, necro team, but the wolves. The wolves are uh, one of them is all right, and the other one is always is SPP. So uh, 
Well, yeah. probably can't manage to score enough touchdowns to reach to 16. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. Funny enough, like it is, it is a bit crap, right, at Wolf? But it's, it's still bludge step with tackle. Like it's, you know, even four normals no, no, as unexciting as, as that is, it's still a great player, right? It's a great player. It's a great player having the dodge and all that. So it's a good Wolf. Uh, the other one is that uh, the uh, some. I know coaches that after the second uh, skill or the third skill, if it's not a double or something like that, they just, you know, uh, fire the wolf and uh, get a new one. But I yeah. think that's a little excessive. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, like obviously you'd rather have a, you know, you know, you'd rather have mighty blow on him or a stat, obviously. But like, uh, you know, they're still really good when they're boring. But and you know, look, anything can happen. Maybe the halflings can win. Uh, he's obviously got a great record getting in here. But you know, generally, it's it's harder for the stunties in chalice than it is in ladder. Um, so there you go. Real Monsters versus T and C. Doom Fox with humans. 24-4. Oh, really nice. Oh, an actual nice human team there. Look at that. Oh, there you go. This is what we're talking about. Maybe the ogre needed, you know, to SPP more, but uh, other than that, mm. very nice team. Very nice uh, blitzer there. Very, very nice. Yeah, loads of dodge. Maybe down. instead of the guard, I'll go uh, Juggernaut just to kill uh, Russell pieces. Mm. And don't feel guilty when you're piling on with him, you know, because you, if you pile on with him, you're losing a guard piece. Yeah, but he's strength four as well, so it's, you know, maybe he's... I wouldn't have taken piling on, right? I would have taken guard after the, after the strength four, I think. And then taken tackle. And then maybe taken piling on as the last one. Interesting. Interesting that he took piling on after strength four. The thing is, like with humans, you want to be blitzing with strength four a lot, so you might and you need a piling on. So maybe you might as well just take it on him. Who knows? Yes, but, I mean, know. also that the piece can blitz by itself. You know, it doesn't mm. uh, need uh, much besides. Well, he's gonna need protection if he wants to pile on, but uh, it's all right. I, I like that kind of piece. I say the guard. I take the juggernaut just to go. You know, if you are going killer. Go killer all the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair, but you know, they still need all the guard they can get, so I think I think with humans particularly, I can definitely understand just wanting, you know, max guard. Um up against You can Frank. always just not pile on. Uh, borrow. <laughs> You yeah. need to watch more YouTube uh, videos of this uh, of, uh, <laughs> of the games. I mean, just not pile on is like that's what he's talking. About. My my tongue. My tongue's burning from that. <laughs> You always pile on. I can't even say the skill. sentence. I can't even say it. <laughs> the thought of it makes me sick. I can't, I can't yeah. actually let it pass my lips. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why this is even optional. I don't know why pile on is optional. You pick it, you live with it. You know, you, it, you get it with it. You know, you don't get... You, the game doesn't offer the choice to... You don't want to use... Blo you, do you want to use block? <laughs> Or claw, they're always on, you know, so pile on should be the same. Yeah, exactly. This is a pretty nice Necro team, by the way. Look at that, 2000 TV, Tackle pa tackle Pom, Tackle Claw Pom, um, Bludge Guard, Guard. Yeah, this is really nice. This is a really nice Necro oh, team, isn't it? This could be yes. Chalice winning. Uh, that, I don't know how good the coach is, but that's a hell of a team. Very, very good uh, Zombies, one with a... Uh, Kick, but the guard block zombies are so annoying. The one with the uh, downless, I don't know why he has downless in the zombie, but I would have taken Fen to mm. make it even more annoying that the uh, uh, zombie and keeping him free every single time he hits push. Yeah, yeah. So, because downless, what are you going to hit with that uh, zombie? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I quite like the kick one. Because the kick like, one, yes, you want it's to an extra skill, you know, it's an extra stuff. skill, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's missing stats, he is missing stats on on, on the team, but uh, yeah, re really nice though. Really 2000, nice. 2000 TV without the stats, that's a lot of skills. Mm. World on fire versus knob, sounds like knob, like knob lol. 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 <laughs> That might be August. <laughs> maybe, maybe August. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's versus Dio. Dio get. Oh my God, Dio the scumbag gets August in the first round. Well, there you go. There's Dio. Wow, he's got to miss next game blitzer as well. Um, a really nice team, isn't it? 
Very nice team. Runner with a startup, a strength there. Very good. I mean, as you say, you know, the equity pre tech priest mm. of the Adeptus Dionicus once more, you know, bringing a very good team. That uh, long beard that you may think looks like a troll slayer, but not. It's a long beard that got <laughs> Mighty Blow, Pylon, Pro, Juggernaut, Guard. <laughs> Absolute meme lord there. Absolutely meme lord. Dio's nothing if not a meme lord, but yeah, this is a that's a really good team, isn't it? It's, really it's nice a really, team. really, really good team. Can win challenge with this, especially if you are Dio, and especially if your first game is versus Enzo <laughs> and his August oh, 1650 TV. Yeah. Wow, it's still not even good, is it? <laughs> He's got a guy called Butt Pounder. <laughs> That boot pounder. Movement <laughs> seven, okay. Destroy it. But then. <laughs> you can, you know, it's possible, it's possible to one turn with that uh, ogre. Imagine that, you know. Be only getting kicked out of Chalice because of a one turn ogre. Oh my god, it'd be incredible. Well, there you go. I mean, what's I mean, the, 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 the second, uh, the, the second, the second ogre boot Haiti, you know, as a bad Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant uh, names, <laughs> and uh, it's an other team, so he can, in a good day, he can delete any other team. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if he's really lose lucky, the game, yeah. lose the game, but delete the other team. Yeah. So out of these, the Necro, the Necro, was it TNC? I think yeah, the Necro and Dio. That should be an amazing second round match. Um, and then can't remember anybody from this half. <laughs> yes, and then Wellerson can win Chad, uh, Chad. I mean, I'll go I'll with that just by the name. <laughs> there you go. So, well, that was all right, wasn't it? That was uh, we got through that pretty quickly in the end. Yes, and I see that Purple Chess uh, didn't qualify this season. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's sad. That's sad. Another season he doesn't win challenge for his uh, daughter before she graduates. <laughs> Last uh, coach with a daughter without the winning chalice. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, no chunder, no chunder with Skaven. No well, chunder, I mean, it's surprising, you know, because when being 64 uh, coaches, people, you know, you say, oh, there's some people that's like guaranteed, but every season there are some people that doesn't manage to qualify, or if they qualify, are with teams they don't want to play because, like, nah, I don't have any chances here. Yeah, yeah very wild. Anyway, um, that's it. And uh, right, what can I say? Yeah, yeah. Nob sounds like Nob. Lol is brilliant. And uh, that's it. So that's it. Thank you very much for having me. It's been glorious having you on doing this. And uh, of course, doing all these games um, probably just replays because there's so many of them. Might do some live if they're on, you know, randomly. And I'm sure you'll yes, join I mean, us for some of those. And some of them, yes. Some of them, I'll uh, I'll try. But I'm uh, traveling to Spain next Thursday. Oh. I'll be there for a week for Christmas. Oh, very nice. I'll be back the 29th, you know, so I'll be back on the booth soon enough. Glory. But yeah, other than that, uh, good luck to everybody. Well, no good luck, same luck to everybody on Chalice. You know, we have no favorites here. Yeah. And uh, Gedeinik, well, enjoy your uh, Chalice uh, victory. <laughs> if you don't win Chalice, just uh, stop playing Blood Bowl and install and, I don't know, uh, move to Dwarf Fortress or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Private. Absolutely glorious. Have a new one, as always. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. And